What is up YouTube? Another sneaker unboxing for you guys. So the sneaker world has been pretty slow here recently, at least in my opinion. So when that happens, typically weeks, months go by without anything. And then within the course of a day or two, you get three pairs. So that's exactly what happened. So the next couple days, probably all today, I'll be doing reviews on all of them. Um, before we start off this review, one of the pairs, which I'm not going to really do a review because I've already done is this pair right here, the Phantom Malachite pair. Uh, this shoe released at my skate shop probably a month ago and they got a restock. They did it while I was at work, went in the next day. So two days of them being at the shop and they had a pair left in my size. So I grabbed them, which is pretty crazy because when I first got these in the review that I did, they sold out within an hour, which is absolutely nuts. And yeah, super excited to have two pairs. This is the pair that I'm gonna be wearing. Um, it's gonna get really dirty, really nice premium suede and just happy to have one to uh, keep when those get wrecked. <clears throat> so the next pair that I'm gonna be talking about right here, got from my local skate shop on Sunday, which they normally don't do any releases on Sundays or really Saturdays. Most of the time it's gonna be like Monday, Tuesday. So completely shocked that they dropped these. Uh, glad that I wasn't at work, I actually went probably two hours after they released them in sizes 10 and a half up to 13 were all sold out, but six through 10 probably, they still had in stock, which I feel like is pretty crazy that they even got size six, which is really cool. Um, so this is the big money savings right here. Really cool shoe. I was very much on the fence when these were rumored and uh, pictures were thrown out on the internet months, months back. Really cool if you like neutral tones, but the biggest thing you're gonna see from far away is this silver accent right in there, which I still am torn if I like or not. So I grabbed these obviously, cause I could grab them. Anytime you can grab an SB for retail, why not? You know, it's $120. Running shoes are more than that nowadays. So had to get them cool storytelling and just cool colors. Figured I'd grab to review for you guys, make some TikToks, stuff like that. So starting off with the details, because there are quite a bit to show off. Starting off with the sole, you have this recycled looking speckled sole right here in like a light blue which I think is my favorite part of the shoe because it really pops and you can see throughout for it being just the sole. Uh, right there, you get kind of like a weird orangish red burgundy that you will also have right there on the heel. And the sole is going to be kind of like an aged sole, kind of like cream, cream-ish white. Same with the stitching on the sole. And we will start with the first thing you're going to see right there, which is kind of... It's silver, it's shiny. The best way I can describe it is gonna be very similar to like a spoon, like a silver spoon that you would use. Um, it's not really paisley, but that's that, that's the best way I can describe it. Looking at the suede on here, it's gonna be not nearly as good as this pair right here, but still okay in my opinion. A little scratchy, but it's going to be like a dark brown, which I think a lot of people are going to love because everybody loves brown shoes. Going into the toe box, you're going to have a woven kind of hemp material right there. Really cool. I think it'll hold up really well. Not like the older SBs, like I think the Reese Forbes, I think is the pair. Um, so hopefully this will hold up the test of time. You got the same suede on the toe and the Nike swoosh is going to be a cracked aged kind of leather material. The heel is going to have this kind of ribbed vertical pattern right there, which is cool, kind of a charcoal gray. And the back is going to have a creamish white with the Nike in a... Best way I can describe is like a knitted cursive font, which is cool. I think that's probably most people's favorite part right there. 
and the inside is gonna match the outside with that silver metallic looking part. So these laces I threw on just to show you guys. I think it's my favorite that goes with this shoe. They come standard and laced with this khaki and they all have metal lace ends, which is cool. Very much like the Travis Scott uh, SB that came out a couple years ago, just a lot thinner, not nearly as big. But I think this is my second favorite, and then I'll show you guys the third. But it really ties in the whole look of a very monotone kind of beige shoe. It really makes that sole, the lace, and right there, the Nike SB really pop. Love that part. The inside of the right shoe, which people are going to show off, is this big money savings uh, receipt right there, which is cool. Uh, you're going to have the insole is going to be that kind of pattern right there. Really cool. And the insole is going to be the Nike. And the best way I can describe it is like a grandma's knitted thing. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So that's that's how I would describe it. And it's got, looks like two roses, flower, whatever. Um, this I went true to size. I think recent SBs definitely go true to size. First thing I do when I grab a pair is uh, I feel like Nike really cinches down the laces. Just undo the laces, let everything kind of settle off and relace them real loose. And your true to size is perfect. I think they break in really, really well. Definitely don't have to go up a half size anymore, in my opinion. I think the older SBs for sure you need to, but not anymore. And then the last thing to note is uh, that tongue is going to be just like that to match the charcoal heel. I think that's really it for this shoe. Um, really cool. To show off the other pair right here, it's gonna be the exact same minus a couple things. I threw in the red laces, which I don't think look nearly as good. I think it just looks really random. Obviously it matches that and the Nike on the back, but I think it just looks kind of weird. I would honestly throw probably this pair on this one and keep the blue on the other one, who knows. But no differences in this pair. You can see mine has a little blemish right there. Uh, which I honestly do not really care about, but just something to note, obviously from far away, you can see that little dot, but it's not bothering me. And the only other difference is this one, the left side is gonna have a shortened um, little receipt right there. You can kind of look at the storytelling on the sneakers app um, as they describe the shoe. I think it's kind of like a little silly joke about the whole big money savings thing which is cool i think it's funny but like i said this is a shoe that had to grab because i could for retail just to see the materials i think it is wearable i think definitely fall definitely winter and summer like a pair of short khakis uh will look perfectly fine especially this blue kind of uh makes it pop a little bit better a little bit more of a spring summer color yeah, I think that really does it for this shoe. I think it's sweet if you can grab for retail. I think a lot of skate shops got them. It's 50-50 if people like this shoe. I think people like it because it is a monotone, kind of brown khaki shoe. But like I said, the, the one thing going against it, I think is that just that silver right there is just so wild. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think if you were able to grab if you didn't grab them and you're gonna pay um, to get them for resale, uh, let me know what laces you're gonna throw on them. And yeah, stay tuned for more. Uh, that does it for this review. Thanks for watching.